Hi, welcome to A Nutritarian in La La Land. Today, I'm going to make my spicy black bean burgers. Now, my usual way of making them, I'll tell you my usual way, but right now, I'm using leftovers for my stuffed peppers because it has everything in it that I would use for my, my beans. So, I, I mean my bean burgers. Um, you would normally use two cups of black beans and then you'd smash them in the bowl. I'm gonna smash this. This is my stuffing from my um, stuffed peppers. It's got quinoa and black beans and onions and corn and a bunch of stuff in it. So I, I like to utilize leftovers because I don't like to waste food. So I wanted to make burgers and I didn't want to have two things, you know, to have to eat in the fridge and not get eaten, you know? And what I did with the, the peppers, I pulled the stuffing out, put it in this bowl, and I took, there was three peppers left, and I cut the top off, because you don't need it to be, when you pulse it in the, the food processor. I pulsed it in the food processor, I'm gonna fill it into the filling for my burgers. It looks like baby food. But you can do that if you want to do that, if you're using my leftover um, stuffed peppers for your bean burgers. Okay, so we're, we're smashing the beans. It's the first thing you got to do. You want, you want whole pieces too. It'll come out nice if you got pieces, you know, that are whole. It looks pretty. <laughs> Everybody likes pretty food. Ooh, this smells good by itself. <laughs> and usually you put cumin and chili powder in to the burger mess, uh, recipe, but it already has it in the stuffed peppers, so I'm gonna take that, I'm not gonna use that, but it does say oregano, so I'll add the oregano. But the next uh, ingredient is gonna be oat flour. Oat flour, this is again with my recycled glass. Um, oat flour is just oatmeal pulsed in your food processor until it's powder. That's all it is. And you're gonna use, let's see, I'm doubling this, this is four cups. So that's what you gotta do. The normal recipe is two cups of, of beans, but I've got four cups, so I'm gonna double everything else, okay? Remember I said that. What the heck is the... Oh, it's right at the top. So I'm gonna use a cup. Usually it's a half a cup for two bean, two beans. <laughs> for two cups of beans is one half cup oat flour. So I'm doing four cups of beans, so I'm gonna do a whole cup of oat flour. Flour. Yeah. Whoopsie, I always make a mess. There's one cup of oat flour. I also want to use my peanut mash. Extra protein, extra binding too. I use uh, about a half a cup. I got some in here and some in there. But I think I'll do a cup of that too, because that's double. So we're gonna double that one also. You don't have to use the peanut mash. You can just skip that part if you don't have it and you don't want to use it or whatever. I just like to use as much as I can nutrition in everything I do. Let me see. It's in here. I thought I was making peanut butter, so I put it in jars. <laughs> okay, I need a smaller spoon. I could scoop it up with this thingy. <laughs> wow, I am not fancy. I told you guys. I am the cooking MacGyver. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I use what I got. I use what I got. Use your leftovers. If you don't have juice pulp from a juicer, got a good idea. Why don't you grab the leftover veggies you have in your fridge and uh, pulse them in your uh, food processor. I think that'd be a great, uh, instead of uh, using uh, juice pulp from your juicer. Well, I still need that, so I'm gonna... I'm gonna hold on to it, okay. One cup of peanut mash. Okay. Three processed bell peppers that are cooked from the stuffed bell peppers. But if, if you're not doing the bell pepper recipe, you wanna pulse, um, what is, how much onion? One small onion and like the equivalent 
of a bell pepper with it. Just throw it in there and pulse it together. And you're going to add that to your mixture. Let's see, what did I say? This poop. Let me see what I got. I got it. I'm just going to use two of these. I am. Oh. Hmm. So it's one cup. I'm going to have two cups of pulp because I'm doubling the recipe. So I'm going to rinse this out and use it. I don't want to do like drink a bunch of half cups. I'll wash it real quick. Sorry, right, guys. I'm going to make this video not long. Good to have clean dishes. <laughs> okay. Even though everything's going to be touching when you put it in there, it's just good to be sanitary. Okay. Where's my scoopy? <laughs> Here's my scoopy. Okay. I can scoop the bulb. The bulb. The pulp. <laughs> this pulp has all kinds of goodies in it. It's got spinach. It's got celery. It's got parsley. It's got carrots. It's got even fruit in it. I love it. You got all kinds of neat flavor and nutrition when you're making your bean burgers. If you make it with pulp. I mean, you can you can wing it and do your own thing. Mike, can you do me a favor and come over here and see if that got pushed down? It looked like it got pushed down. I think everybody's been seeing my my food and not my face. Am I cut off? No. Oh, okay, sorry. Everything, everything's Interruption. good. Interruption. Technical difficulties, I thought. <laughs> Not. No technical difficulties. Okay. It just looked like it, the camera was tilted. Anyway. I'll put two cups. And then all i got to add is the oregano. Sometimes, when you don't have chili powder, this is a great, great add um, for your burgers. If you want them super spicy, cayenne pepper instead. I've tried it. It is, oh my god, it's so good. So, so good. Close that up. Oopsie. Switch this out of the way. Okay, this too. Give me some room. Okay. I don't think I need another. I just need the spoons. Oh no, I need a half a cup. I used to, I usually make the burgers measure them out a half a cup and shape them with the with the cup. It's really cool. I'll show you. Darn it. I don't want to take up too much time. I'm going to get cut off again. <laughs> okay. I think I might need a better. No, I'll be all right. I'm just going to you know mix it up. Oh, forgot the oregano. Lord have mercy on my soul. If I can open this, Mike. <laughs> oh my God! Yes, I thought I can open this. You can be on camera. It don't matter. Ah man, I love their strength. <laughs> Thank you. That was awesome. I could not open that thing. Darn it! Darn it! Donkey ears. Oh, of course, I pull it open and it's not. Ay, ay, ay. <laughs> it's like I just broke a pinata. Ooh, that's really fragrant. Woohoo! Maybe it's good luck. <laughs> that's funny. Well, half a teaspoon. So, oh, of course, I have to wash the teaspoon now. I should have more than one set of these things. Dry it with my towel. Okay, I'm gonna go back over the recipe. This is for regular bean burgers without the leftovers. If you wanna do the leftovers, just listen to what I said before. Half a cup of oat flour, two cups of black beans, one small onion minced, which I throw it in the food processor because you don't want real big chunks. Two teaspoons minced garlic, you throw that in with the uh, 
with the onion in the food processor. A half a teaspoon oregano. I'm doing two because I'm doubling. I mean two. A teaspoon. <laughs> Boy, I cannot speak the English language. Okay. Half a teaspoon of oregano. That's the, the single recipe. And one cup of pulp from the juicing veggies and fruit. Well, you want veggie pulp. You don't want just fruit. A fourth a teaspoon of cumin and two teaspoons of chili powder. And if you want to kick it up a notch, instead of two teaspoons of chili powder, do two teaspoons of cayenne pepper. That is a fun recipe. I tried that and ooh, everybody loved it. Now we got to really incorporate everything I just threw in there. They're going to be very colorful and very full of flavor. I think I gotta be, no. Bring it up from the bottom to the top because you don't want the bottom to be all just one thing and you didn't mix it. Okay guys. If you like my videos, click subscribe, share, and click on the bell to get reminders when I got new videos. Just letting you know that. In all my recipes, are vegan, nutritarian, human, and monkey friendly. Unless you don't, with the chili powder and the, all the spices, I don't know if you want to make that. Ooh, this is turning out nice. Look at that. Nice. Now what we're going to do is we're going to pack it into a cup like this. I use my hands. I am a real person. I'm not a celebrity, a chef, or I'm not fancy. I'm going to do what you do in your kitchen, so do that, and then I have to work it out by so doing this. There we go. See how it comes out? And then you make a patty. I probably should scoot over. woo -hoo. Here we go. Ooh, these are nice. Oh, I got a big chunk of carrot in that one. <laughs> carrot. There's a couple of them. That's pretty cool. You want all the nutrition you can get. You're going to put this all on a, a baking sheet lined. Again, my my uh, cookware is in costume because it's not camera ready. <laughs> but a lot of uh, nutritarians, they use parchment paper and I ran out. I use uh, tin foil and if you cook it right, it won't stick. If you want to use Pam, that's your choice. Is what you're gonna do. I might need two pans. I forgot I doubled the recipe. Durr. But we're not gonna have the camera on while it's cooking. It'll come out really well, I, I, I guarantee. I don't know if I should have another video of me taking it out of the oven. You know, it's kind of silly. I'm not, I don't know how to edit yet, so <laughs> let me know what you think you need. Ask questions in the comments. Okay. There's that. Hi to any family that's watching. <laughs> Hi to grandkids that are watching. Hi Ryder. Hi Sophia. <laughs> Nana loves you. I'm going to try to also make a YouTube channel of me telling stories because I really love doing that when I, my kids were young and I have a couple grandkids that I don't get to see all the time and they can watch my story time on YouTube and then they get to see me. And other kids can also benefit because I just, I love reading stories to kids. That was one of my, and nursery rhymes. I am really in nano mode. <laughs> I am surely in nano mode. I need to watch the time. Sorry, I am not a celebrity. Like I said, you're gonna see me like might have to walk away and turn the camera off. 
Is it good? Mm-hmm. Okay. Good to get it. Got you got to stay nearby just in case. I think I'm going to fill up this and then put it in the oven and take a bite because I don't have enough time, enough memory on there, I guess, or something. It just, it only, it only videotapes like 20 minutes, I think at the most, 18 minutes maybe, I don't know, something like that. These things are coming out nice. Did I double the oat flour? Ooh, I forgot. Did I double it? 15. 15 what? Seconds? No, minutes. Minutes? Oh, the, the video? Okay, then. I think I'm going to probably have to say goodbye. Put this in an oven, 400 degrees. 15 minutes flip, 15 minutes. And um, from my quinoa bread, I forgot to tell you what to do as far as that goes. You want to have it... I had it in there for 20 minutes, and then I took another circular pan, put it on top, flipped it, put it in for another 15 minutes. Just wanted to let you guys know, because I did. <laughs> I forgot to say that on the video. So, love you guys. Take care. I'm going to blow you a kiss, but I have dirty hands. Mwah! <laughs>